All right, today we're gonna to be making a three ingredient cornbread recipe that I saw from Dylan Hollis. We're gonna add a few little additions of our own just to make it uh, have a little kick and a little uh, little personality just for us. But the three main ingredients, pre-mixed Jiffy cornbread mixture, cheese whiz or cheese sauce or whatever in God's name this is, and three eggs. It's a super simple recipe, so we're gonna put it together. It takes just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's whip up the ingredients. First ingredient that we're gonna add that is not in the original recipe is a jalapeno. So if you're not into the spice, don't add it. It's real simple. I like to just do thin slices like this. You can stop about halfway up, right about here. As soon as you start seeing the white seeds falling out, these are gonna be pretty mild. But if you go any further, you're gonna see these seeds and that's where it starts to get spicy. So obviously these right here, they're the ones that are gonna cause you trouble the next day. Next ingredient that we're gonna add, cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese is good. You can add any other cheese. If you're a provolone, Munster's always tasty, but uh, jalapeno cheddar just kind of rolls off the tongue. So that's the one we're gonna go with. I'm gonna use about a cup in this recipe. You can use more or less. And then I like to save a little bit extra for garnishing on top. I know I'm gonna catch some flack for this in the comments section, but I'm gonna go ahead and use pre-cooked, pre-chopped bacon. Start off by adding our Jiffy ready-made cornbread mix. It's just a couple ingredients. It's basically cornmeal, some flour, some baking powder. Next, we're gonna add the bacon. I'm gonna reserve a little bit of this for garnish on top. And then our cheese dip. I got this at Aldi's. I didn't even spring for the good stuff, but I'm a fan of Aldi's, so we'll let it slide. An amalgamation of modern science. And then we'll go ahead and crack some eggs. I'm gonna try to do the cool new thing that the kids are doing. I'm gonna add about half of this cheese now. We're gonna add half on top afterwards. And then we're just gonna whisk this all together. As you can see, this is gonna tighten up pretty quick. It's gonna look like something that you could spackle a wall with, but it is gonna come together and it will be light, fluffy, and delicious after it bakes. All right, so this is actually a Detroit pizza pan. You can use any kind, you can use cast iron skillets for this, any kind of casserole pan. I always like to pour into the center and then kind of work my way to the sides. And then we'll start laying out the jalapenos. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of garnish. We don't wanna cover them up, we just wanna add a little bit of cheddar on top. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of the bacon, just so people know it's there. Then we're gonna pop this in the oven, about 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll do the unveiling. First off, this thing smells amazing. So we're gonna be real careful, and we're gonna try to just pry up this corner. Oh no, okay, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna cut this thing in its container. These pop that out. That looks awesome. You can see the cross section right here. Got a little bit of bacon in there. Go ahead and break this apart. You can see you got the bacon, the cheese, everything in there. This is going to be delicious. There's only one way to find out though. So we're going to take a bite. Mm, this is fantastic. Highly recommend trying this out for yourself. It's a super easy recipe. This is a great accompaniment for anything you're making this fall. So enjoy.